Hey, what is up? This is your host, Tap Out the Sonic Fan 78, bringing you to my discussion of Sonic Forces. So, it has been confirmed that the third new playable character will be customizing your own playable character. There are at least seven types of animals that you can use, but with different abilities, which is really interesting. So, according to research, the seven types of animals will be Wolf which automatically draws in rings when near them. A rabbit has longer invisibility, time after receiving damage. A cat keeps one ring after being hit. A dog restarts with five rings after the player dies. A bear blows away enemies with a homing attack. A bird flies high with double jump abilities. Hedgehog collects rings when getting damaged. And to be honest, I find it really, really brilliant that Sonic Team came up with this idea. And here is the reason why. Because DeviantArt, DeviantArt, Sonic OC fans are gonna blow the living crap out of this game with customizing your own character. Dreams that they really wanted on an official Sonic game for long years I believe and now they finally got the game for a customized character which is on Sonic Forces. Also one interesting thing that I found out on social media is that the created character that you use as a customized character will also be a key part of the story of the cutscene but by being a crucial element in the story. So that means that the third playable character that you customize will probably be like, you know, potentially, in my theory, the main character of the story. So this part of mechanic that Sonic Team use is really interesting because we don't know how the voicing is going to be for the character of that customized character in Sonic Forces. From that trailer, I seen a female customized character and a male customized character which makes me come up with this one question how will be the how would the voicing be for sonic forces with the male character and the female character would it be just that one male character with one male voice actor and one female voice actor or a different separate type of voice actor with those different types of animals this brings me a little bit of concerning because I don't know how the voicing is going to be. Hopefully when we name the character from that customized character as a new third playable character, hopefully it doesn't like, you know, there's going to be some people who are going to put inappropriate things as OC. Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. Like it's, it's, it's kind of concerning because we don't know how the character is going to name our character that we're going to name maybe, or maybe it's just going to be like, you know, that's the name of the character and that's it. You just choose the, that different type of animal, but it's going to be this character's name. You can't name the character. Or maybe you can name the character. Those are actually two things that I'm concerned with. Now with the gameplay of the third new playable character, which is called Park Avenue, that's the zone that's that's supposed to be named for uh, Sonic Forces with the, with the city being on hellfire with Eggman's industry with the death egg robots that look huge and humongous, big, devastating, with his Axis power trying to take over the world and Sonic is trying to fight his destiny to win this battle. I honestly don't know how this customized character is going to be voiced. We just got to find out and see from E3 or on our own experience. One thing that I saw from the Park Avenue trailer with the third new playable character, which is a wolf, uh, it was using that little string that kind of reminds me of Indiana Jones mixed with Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric with the inner beam where he hangs around with these different like, it's like a, it's like this circle uh, platform that he uses like anchor to like, you know, hold on to that. Like it's like Spider-Man mixed with Sonic Boom, like with the inner beam. And also with the Burst Wisp, which is returning from Sonic Colors, there's like a major role with that third new playable character, according to social media. The fire gun with that third playable character reminds me of Mega Man as well, because the way how they put the, the gun with 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 his like with his hand, 
it has me with this like Mega Man vibe with some Indiana Jones vibe, like I said, in Spider Man mixed with Sonic Boom and Shadow the Hedgehog because you know Shadow the Hedgehog has weapons and guns and stuff, but it's different. It's mostly like a a, a cannon or something that shoots out fire. The interesting part of Sonic Forces, according to social media with the third playable character, is that players will be equipping their custom hero, go the, a custom hero character with one of a variety of powerful, unique gadgets called Wispons. Also, Wispons with the Wisps. Wispons are an evolution of the color powers from Sonic Colors and double as both offensive abilities and as a way to platform through levels quickly. Along with Wispon, the hero character will have a grappling hook they can utilize to quickly tra traverse across zones. Like, you know, like ripping, like what I said, it kind of reminds me of like Spider-Man mixed with, you know, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Um, also, it says players can also customize the hero's character's looks by choosing and swapping between hundreds of accessories and outfit options to change the character's appearance as they play through the game. So for example, uh, your third playable character could wear this hat or shirt or different types of uh, shoes or like, you know, different types of weapons, mechanisms. Also, I saw the Chow Pat Pack from the, from the, you know, customizing the character that got me really amazed. I want to use that Chow backpack because I'm a really huge fan of the Chow Garden since the Sonic Adventure era. Also, your third playable character could wear glasses, different types of uh, um, soldier clothing, uh, different types of uh, like etc. Like different types of gloves. Um, like there's a lot of things you could also like you know choose whatever you know other characters you could pick. Um, you can make the sides of the character. It's something so new. I honestly like the concept. Also, another thing about the Park Avenue trailer to Sonic Forces. That music, the music theme, was so Sonic R vibes in my opinion. Also, by the end of the video of the gameplay, you hear a little snippet just a little snippet. They don't want to tease you and like they don't want to like I mean, sorry. They they don't want to spoil. Well, that's what I mean. Spoil the full lyric of the song. You hear a little snippet tease of the lyric to that music. And honestly, it sounds beautiful. It sounds like a motivation music. I feel like the dirt playable character could possibly have some motivation lyric musics while modern sonic has some you know catchy guitar music crush 40 maybe um which i'm going to cover that in the next video um also classic sonic you know having some you know that classic genesis music with that little too generic video of the music of the green hill zone mixed with sand which is you know this the desertation of green hill zone from eggman's industry uh, with uh, with classic Sonic running around Green Hill Zone again, which is a which is you know a lot of people complain about that recently. Honestly, that music that music was beautiful in my ears. I really love the music. It sounds like you are like you're the one being the hero, and th this music in your in your ears. It's like you can do this. You can do this. Just believe in yourself. And keep going and keep running. That's what the music felt like to me. It felt like a motivation. Just like from Sonic R. My most top first favorite theme song in Sonic R was mostly Work It Out. The reasoning why I love that theme song so much is because I when I when I have a bad time, if I feel down on myself, if I feel like a little sad or depressed, when I listen to that music, and if I'm in a good mood too, when I listen to that music, work it out. It, it sounds so motivating. It, it feels like it doesn't even supposed to fit into that Sonic game, but it sounds so amazing. Like, that's the thing with Sega. Sega makes great soundtracks of Sonic, despite with <clears throat> Sonic Chronicles. But still, Sonic to this day has a great history with music. I honestly cannot wait to
to hear the full music lyric of that gameplay. Listening to it, dancing to to it, because you know, I I really love Sonic the Hedgehog's music. My and just to say it out, my guilt, I honestly love Sonic R's music. My most top first favorite. Yep, you heard me. My most top favorite. And that's just me. I like the music because it sounds motivating. Freaking uh freaking work it out is so motivating. Same thing with this Sonic Forces. I have a I have this belief, my theory that this soundtrack from the third playable character in Sonic Forces could be a motivation music of you as that customized character. You are the one trying your way to destroy Eggman with this evil realm of power taking over the city. Hell and fire going on, but that beautiful soundtrack makes you like, yeah, I can do this. I could, I could, I could freaking beat Eggman. I feel like this music, the music that that that's being produced from Sonic Forces with that third playable character, there's some musics that could potentially have a motivation music, just like I said from Sonic R. Sonic R has motivation music. What I mean by motivation music is like, it's like to, it's like talking to you. In a way that if you feel down, you could become the strong person. You could run. You can you feel the sunshine, for example. Can you feel the sunshine? Look, think about, for example, think about you running around on the sun, going jogging, exercising, and you're hearing that song. Can you feel the sunshine? And and, and that music, like you you feel like you feel that sunshine. You feel the energy. You feel pumped up, and you feel like you could go out there in the world and show them why, how you, what are you made of? Just like from freaking um, <laughs> uh, Sonic Heroes, what I'm made of. Same thing. Sonic Heroes, what I'm made of from Crush 40, felt motivational. And I'm, I'm actually getting kind of going off topic because Sonic Heroes is another type of game. It does have that feel, of Sonic Heroes, just a little bit, but not that Sonic Heroes and Sonic Forces. What I'm just saying is that. The, the music from the third playable character feels like a motivation. A motivation that you as that player could defeat Eggman from his industries and win this game. Win the doubt, even though there's a challenge, which I, I believe there could be a challenge or maybe it could be easy like from Sonic Generations. Who knows? We didn't experience the game yet. We gotta find out when E3 comes out. I have this, you know, belief that that music that was played will have a motivation music. Even some other Sonic fans believe that this music has this Sonic R vibe. I feel like the music that Sega made made them went back and look like, oh yes, this is the answer. We should put Sonic R music, but make it more modern. It didn't. The music didn't felt like, you know, the 90s. Like in the 90s from Sonic R, you feel that that 90s theme. While in Sonic Forces with the third playable character, it doesn't feel like the 90s. It feels more like a a mo like a like a, a modern motivation besides a classic motivation. It's 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 kind of hard to explain. The only thing that made me felt down was when it was just cut off that lyric. I was like, oh come on, like. I know that they don't want to, you know, spoil it, but I just wanted that music to hear it so badly. Like, from the main theme of Sonic Forces, which, by the way, is my most favorite. It kind of reminds me of Crush 40 music. The third playable character in Sonic Forces is very interesting. Because you got different types of animals with different abilities that you can make to experience that gameplay. It, it's, it's something new. It's something, a risk that Sonic, in my opinion, a risk that Sonic Team made, a little risk that uh, that DeviantArt, OCs, the people who've been dying to make OCs in an official Sonic game, but now we have it. Now in this time, this time period of 2017, we finally have, for the OCs, the ones who make, you know, productive ones, now I'm not talking about the, uh, you know, cringe ones, you know, we're not all perfect, we're, we, we, we've been through there, Every Sonic fans who were young in the OCs, they make they make these cringy arts, and you're like, oh my god, why? And and that do not steal um, meme a lot, and and th this is so funny. There is a lot of memes in the trailer of the you know in the comments. You'll see a lot of memes. They'll say, oh this hedgehog's name, oh this hedgehog's name, 
Oh, Sonic 2, which I know. Sonic 2 being confirmed for Sonic Forces. Do not steal. They make this do not steal, do not steal theme meme. It's just, it's so funny. And also, they literally, I saw in Twitter, Google Plus, and on YouTube, like, there was this, like, <laughs> like, uh, like this, uh, the title. They, they, besides calling it Sonic Forces, they replaced it with Forces into DeviantArt. Because DeviantArt is going to blow that out. A lot of fans who love making art, their own art, are going to be so hyped for this. And that's why I feel like that was a smart move because every Sonic fan who were OCs, and now it's canon, every, every, every Sonic fan who makes OCs and DeviantArts, now on an official Sonic the Hedgehog game of Sonic Forces, could make their own customized character. And that, that's, that's really amazing to hear for, for those kids. Because you know Sonic the Hedgehog is pointed towards kids. And to me, because I'm a Sonic fan, I'll, I'll probably forever be a Sonic fan. I feel like what Sega done with this concept is brilliant. And a genius movement. If that's the case, <laughs> I'll probably just look at the memes of the, of the, the, the funny memes of... Sonic DeviantArt, Sonic, uh, uh, Sonic Mamie Do Not Steal, Sonic OC Mamie Do Not Steal, it's, there's a lot of memes with this. Until the game comes out, I cannot wait to play it. I honestly cannot wait to play it once it comes in holiday 2017, along with Super Mario Odyssey. In conclusion, I am looking forward to Sonic Forces, and I rate this trailer. A 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Not a 10 out of 10. Not perfect because, you know, there's some fans who have negativity and positivity with the OCs. Because, you know, there's some cringy OCs, and I understand that. And there's some people who like OCs, and they're positive about it. So, I will rate this a 9 out of 10 with that review. In any of that case, let me, let me know what you guys think about this Sonic Forces OC trailer. Are you looking forward to it? Yes? No? Are you mad about it? Are you hyped for it? Um, are you really are you really looking forward to it? Um, are you are you in the little middle? Let me know what you guys think, and let me know what type of of different animals will you be for that customized character. Let me know. For me, I'm choosing the wolf and the hedgehog, and then I'm gonna choose those other types of animals so I can experience how they feel in that gameplay. Stay tuned, be safe, and take care. Tap out, out. Subscribe.